Hi there. I imagine that there's a part of you that feels really ready to start a journaling practice to be able to prioritize your well being. Well, you are in the right place because today I'm going to be showing you how you can start journaling in just 10 minutes a day. Now, if we're meeting for the very first time, my name is Jennifer Joy Jimenez. I am the co founder of the Brave Thinking Institute, and we are on a mission to empower you to create and live a life you love, and that includes your health and well-being. Now, I understand as a mother of three and a business owner how hectic life can be and how crazy it is to try to find something in, but what I will tell you is that this simple practice of journaling can help you de-stress, help, help you reclaim your radiant self, as well as really create even more wellness. Now you might be thinking, Jennifer, I really don't have time to start something new, a journaling practice, but here's the secret. This can be done in just 10 minutes a day. And I'm going to show you how to make the most of those precious 10 minutes. Now, step one is to look around your space and just find a cozy corner. It can be a corner on your couch or a lazy boy, or if, or if you have a sacred place that you've created to just sit down, grab the journal, relax and focus. Now you want to make sure ideally that this is a place where you can be undisturbed and it's quiet, but you can also bring some headphones and play a little gentle music and that'll drown out all the hectic and noise around you. Now, step two is to have a little timer. Just set a timer for 10 minutes. This will help you stay on track and it sure ensure that you don't spend too much time journaling, especially when I know you have a busy schedule. And it'll also override your limiting beliefs that say you don't have the time. Everybody spends 10 minutes probably one way or another where we have an extra 10 minutes of where we're wasting it on something else and we can invest it on ourselves. Now, step three is to start writing. You don't have to write anything specific, honestly. You don't have to worry about your grammar or getting it right. It's just a free flow of ideas, right? Maybe something you're grateful for, write what's going on in your day, write down what you're frustrated with, maybe what you're hoping for, but just free write. And then step four is to reflect on what you've written. Just take a moment and just scan through what you've written and read it and see if there's any patterns or insights that you receive from reading what you've written. This self-reflection can be incredibly powerful and a game changer into deeper understanding of yourself. And you'll begin to notice patterns and ideally you'll be able to also notice where you can make some changes. So there you have it. In just 10 minutes a day, you can start journaling, making a positive impact on your mental health, your emotional well being. Consistency is key. So, you're gonna wanna make this a daily habit. And my encouragement is just do a seven day experiment. Anytime we're setting in a new habit, if we start with small snippets of time and we track it, do a seven day experiment and just notice if you feel any different, if you feel a little less stressed and a little more calm. So, my fellow change agent, my encouragement to you today is to prioritize your well being, begin this journaling experiment, notice if you feel any more refreshed. And I can guarantee you that 10 minutes in, invested in yourself and your self care will pay off. So start journaling today. So it is amazing to spend a little time with you today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more wellness tips and tools. There are free gifts to download right here on this page. Make sure to share this video with a friend that you know really does deserve a little more self-care in their life. Until next time, think bravely, act boldly, and start journaling.